Hello, hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow Version. In the previous episode, we made our way through Viridian Forest, and found Pewter City, where the first gym is, and we were just about ready to, well, earn our first badge, but then I remembered that I missed something. So I worked my way back down to Viridian City. So in this episode, there's going to be a couple of fairly important battles, I'd say. And of course, if you don't want to miss any future episodes, then I suggest that you consider following the channel. Now, with that out of the way, let's walk over this way to where we caught Mankey. And I believe right here, yes, we have a rival fight. Hey, Ash, you're going to the Pokemon League. Forget it, you probably don't have any badges. Yeah, well, about that. Uh, the guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? No. Okay, Gary, bring it on. What do you got? Got two Pokemon. A Spearow at level 9. Well, we haven't seen any Spearows yet, have we? Uh, kind of similar to Pidgey, really. Uh, I feel like Spearow is probably a little stronger. Maybe a little slower. Uh, it definitely gets better flying-type attacks than the Pidgey family does. But it's still normal flying-type, so Thundershock will probably do a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leer, of course. It's Gary's favorite move, after Tail Whip, I suppose. So, Spearow has fainted. Oh, so much experience for that. About to use Eevee. Will I change? No. I'm gonna play it fair. If I want to change, then I'm not going to do it in between Pokemon. Kind of odd that Eevee is weaker than his, uh... Oh yeah, start with a Tail Whip again. Uh, it's weird that Eevee is weaker than Spearow. Thunder Shock. Oh, there's the tackle. Ooh, this might actually hurt. Ooh, a lot. Uh-huh. I can't take another hit like that. Okay, Mankey, you're up. Now we get to show off what Low Kick can do. Low Kick, a fighting type attack which will be super effective against normal types. Yes, the enemy Eevee has fainted. Pikachu gained experience, Mankey gained experience, everyone's happy. Aw, you just lucked out. Get some money. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. Uh, you should quit dawdling and get a move on. Yep, yeah, alright, bye Gary. So, that battle right there is actually completely optional. Uh, as evidenced by the fact that I almost missed it. I think after you beat Brock, he doesn't show up here anymore. So in yellow version, that battle right there, and the one way back at the beginning in uh, Professor Oak's lab, those two determine what Gary will evolve his Eevee into. Oh, what do we have here? Oh hey, Nidoran. Uh, did I catch one of these? I don't even remember. Uh, you know what, let's just Thunder Wave this real quick, I'll catch it anyway. You see, in newer Pokémon games, they tell you if you already own the Pokémon or not. In these ones, the old ones, I don't think it tells you that. Uh, hmm. Will Mankey kill this Nidoran with Scratch? Probably not. I'm gonna take a risk here. Oh, it definitely won't if you growl at me. Yeah, attack fell, okay. I think you're pretty safe. You can use Tackle, I can hit you one more time. You should survive this. And fully paralyzed, excellent. Uh-huh, where's the Pokeball? Here we are. And... Yes, there we go. Nidoran female was caught. New Pokedex data. 
It is a mild-mannered Pokémon that does not like to fight. Beware, its small horns secrete venom. Uh, do I want to give a nickname to it? I do not. Ooh, Nidoran was transferred to someone's PC. So because my team is full, six, any Pokémon that I catch from now on will be transferred automatically to my PC, where they will be stored. Uh, well, I'm gonna heal. And uh, continuing on about Gary and his Eevee, uh, if you beat Gary both times, like I did, then he'll evolve Eevee into Jolteon. And if you win one and lose one, it'll be Flareon. And if you lose both, I guess the game has pity on you. Turns Eevee into Vaporeon, so that your Pikachu will have an advantage against it. Now, oh, thank you, your Pokémon are fighting fit. Hope to see you again. Although, I feel like... You'd have to have Pikachu at a very high level for it to be any kind of match for even a Vaporeon. Oh well. So I'm going to walk my way back to Pewter City, and don't you worry, I'll be there before you know it. And here I am, back at Pewter City. Uh, however, I'm going to make the other people in town think I'm a total weirdo and walk right out again because I forgot that I actually set Metapod up for a level up. So, one one battle should do it. We've got a Pidgey here. It's at level 3. I think that'll be enough. Metapod should be able to take this thing on. Maybe. Oh, it's putting up a bit of a fight, though. Come on, Metapod. I believe in you. You can do it. You're so close. Okay, well, this is going to be a... Three hit KO, I think. But we'll get there. Gust, so many gusts. Stop it, Pidgey, please. There we go. So Metapod gained 23 experience and grew to level 10. Wow, look at those monstrous stats. Well, Metapod is now evolving, of course. Here we go, Metapod has evolved into Butterfree, and Butterfree learned Confusion. So that is kind of why Butterfree is so good in the early game. Yeah, those stats are a lot nicer. Because it gets Confusion right off the bat, which is a Psychic-type attack. I don't know why they did this with Bug-types in Gen 1 and 2, but they just gave a bunch of them random Psychic attacks. Instead of giving them actual Bug attacks. Very bizarre. But still, kind of useful. Butterfree is now fully evolved at level 10, which will be a rather large boon to our party. So let's just heal it back up to full health. And then I think it's time we pay a little visit to the gym. to see you again. Okay. Now, uh, what are you all about? Uh, there aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers, but Pewter Jim's Brock is totally into it. Now is he now? Uh, see, here's what happens if you instead try to skip out and just walk away. Well, you're a trainer, right? Uh, Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. The game just forces you to go see Brock. I like this little march that plays, though. Uh, if you have the right stuff, go take on Brock! Where did he go? Pikachu, what do you make of that? Yeah, I agree. So, that guy, who forces you to follow him, I think you can pause the game as soon as you walk in front of him, and save, and then restart the game, and then you'll start in front of him, and you'll be able to just walk right past, thus skipping Brock. I think that's how it works. I've never tried it myself, but... It's rumored that Clefairies came from the moon! They appeared after Moonstone fell on Mount Moon. Well, how about that? 
Uh, is there a hidden item up here? I feel like there is. Well, I'll never know. I'm just wasting time. Come on, Pikachu. Let's take on Brock. Now, what do you say? Hiya! I can tell you have what it takes to become a Pokémon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. You know, I've never actually spoken to this guy. I don't know what he says. Yes. All right, let's get happening. Uh, it will be tough for your Pikachu with this gym. Electric attacks are harmless to Brock's ground-type Pokémon. Oh, that's it. Okay. And as we see, Pewter City, Pokémon gym leader Brock, winning trainers, Gary. Only Gary, no one else in the history of this world has beaten Brock. Huh. Anyway, yeah, like this guy said, Pikachu can't harm ground-type Pokémon. And this is technically a rock-type gym, but there are no rock-types in this game that aren't also ground. Uh, no, actually, I guess that's not true. The fossil types are rock and not ground, but most of them are ground. So we need a different strategy. And that's why Pokémon Yellow is maybe not the best game for beginners. But Mankey should make short work of most things that we see here. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from fr facing Brock. Oh, am I now? Junior Trainer Male. I think this is the first time we've seen a Junior Trainer. Wants to fight. Junior Trainer Male sent out Diglett. Right, this guy doesn't even have rock types. He just has a couple ground types. Uh, low kick should still do a good amount of damage, I think. Ooh, scratch. Ooh, look at that! The damage from that one, though. Uh, Diglett is fast. Critical hit, of course. Get out of here. The enemy Diglett fainted. I'll go to Sand Shrew. No, let's, let's stick with Mankey. Low kick. At least I'm faster than Sand Shrew. Oh, f flinched? What? I didn't know low kick makes them flinch. Guess it makes sense, but... Again, oh, this flinch lock. Get out of here, Sand Shrew. Is this level 11? Oh, you bet this is level 11. All right. Yeah, those are some good-looking stats. Oh, darn. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. The more you know. So, this is Brock right here. Uh, I'm just gonna burn a potion because I don't feel like walking all the way back to the Pokemon Center. And yeah, you know what? Let's just uh, let's take this guy on. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock-hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokémon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. Okay, here we go. Brock wants to fight. Intimidating gym challenger music. Brock sent out Geodude. At level 10. Uh-huh. Yeah, like he said, rock types have a lot of defense. So I feel like... Oh, ooh. Okay, critical hit. That definitely helps. Tackle. Huh. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. Now is no time to play foolishly. Missed? Excuse me. One in 255 chance, as if. Get out of here. And about to use Onyx. I will not change Pokémon. Level 12. Yeah, Onyx is pretty big. Oh, screech. Ouch. My ears. My defense greatly fell. I'm not looking forward to whatever you do next. Wait, hang on. Onyx was faster than I am? Onyx is faster than Mankey. Uh-huh. Bind. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? I can't move. Yeah, these attacks are... Hmm... Real annoying in the first generation. There are several attacks that continue throughout the turns, and you just can't do anything about them. Oh man, Mankey, I think you're done. Uh, 
maybe you'll survive? Thank goodness. Now, come on, where's the where's the critical hit? Uh, not there. What do I do? I think you're gonna have to take one for the team, Mankey. I'm sorry. Goodbye. But Butterfree should be able to finish off this Onyx. Because confusion is powerful enough, probably. If only you hadn't used Bind. Okay. Well, this is gonna take a while. You might want to go make a cup of tea or something. Oh, Bide. There we go. That was your first mistake. Now I can take you out. Goodbye. 277 experience. Oh, I didn't quite grow up a level with that, I guess. But I defeated Brock. Hooray! I took you for granite, I believe you meant to say. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. I received the boulder badge. That's an official Pokemon League badge. Its bearers Pokemon become more powerful. The technique Flash can now be used any time. And I got a whole heap of money. Wait, take this with you. TM34. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. A TM is good only once. So when you use it, well, when you use one to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM35 contains Bide. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double. Yeah. So that is our first TM, wherever it is. Yeah, here it is. As I said earlier, Pokemon don't get a lot of good attacks in this game, so you really have to make very good use of TMs if you want most Pokemon to do anything. But hey, there we go. That was the first gym. We have the Boulder Badge in hand, and we are able to continue forward. Let's take a quick jaunt to the Pokemon Center to heal our poor Mankey. Yeah, that, uh... I guess Onyx using Screech was a smart move after all. There we go. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. Uh, oh, no! No! I don't want to do it again. Okay, let's go, Pikachu. And now we will be allowed to leave town. Properly. Without cheating. And there's a whole mess of trainers here. So, who do I want to train? Mankey is already stronger than Pikachu, so let's get Pikachu out there first. I believe if we take one more step... Oh, not quite. There is a trainer there, though. Hmm. I guess she's a little nearsighted. Uh, you looked at me, didn't you? Yes? Okay, lass, you've got two Pokémon. One of them is a Pidgey at level 9. They are very much almost caught up to me in level. Which is a little worrying, honestly. Gust. Ooh, this is gonna sting a little, Pikachu. Mmm, okay, critical hit. Uh, you're gonna grow up a level? Ooh, thank you. There's level 11. Pikachu is trying to learn Quick Attack. Ooh, that's actually a handy move to know. So yes, let's get rid of... I mean, one of these, right? Forgot Growl. Learned Quick Attack. Quick Attack is, uh... It's not a very powerful attack, but it always goes first. No matter how fast you are. Granted, Pikachu's pretty fast anyway, so... Maybe it's not necessary? But for now, it's handy to have. Ugh, Sand Attack. Get out of here, Pidgey. I don't want any of that. And I have defeated the lass. Hooray! You're mean. Yeah, well, you know how it goes. Hmm, this is probably a bug catcher. So let's switch out Butterfree. And see what we got. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. Ooh, a recurring trainer. Yeah, that's a bug catcher, all right. Bug catcher wants to fight. Sent out Caterpie, a level 10 Caterpie. Well, this is what your Caterpie could have been. 
Let's use Confusion. That'll take a bite out of it pretty good. Tackle. Hmm. Aw, oh, not quite. Still, four damage a hit. I guess Butterfree is a butterfly after all. Still a little bit fragile. Oh, there's level 11. Excellent, excellent. About to use Weedle. Ooh, we haven't seen a Weedle yet. Now, Weedle is poison type, I think. So Confusion should be super effective. Yeah, it sure is. And one more, a Caterpie. Sure, here you go. Tackle. Confusion. Oh, look at that. Oh well, here comes another tackle for you. Get out of here, Caterpie. And I've defeated the bug catcher. You beat me again! Indeed I did. Uh, hmm. I can probably take another trainer. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Yeah, it's a pretty iconic line from Gen 1 Pokemon. This youngster in his shorts. Youngster wants to fight. What does he have? Ooh, Rattata. A level 11 Rattata. This is uh, a little bit worrying, actually. I'm still faster than it, so that's good. Tail Whip. Oh, you failed. Thank goodness. Tail Whip. And you failed a second time. I feel sorry for you. I don't know what level Rattata learns Hyper Fang, but it's pretty early in the game. Oh, here's level 12 already. Nice. About to use Ekans. Oh, another one we haven't seen yet. Ekans is pure poison, I believe, and you can't catch it in yellow version. Yeah, super effective. Used Leer. Come on, man, you've got to actually use some offensive attacks once in a while. Ekans fainted. Oh, here's a bit of trivia for you. Something that nobody knows, I'm sure. You ready? Ekans is snake spelled backwards. Wild, I know. I don't believe it! Yeah, that's, that's what I thought too when I heard that bit of trivia the first time. Uh-huh, okay, Mankey, so now... Oh, Pikachu's still level 11 too. What do you got? Are you a trainer? Let's fight! Okay, bug catcher, you've got four Pokémon? That's actually a lot. One of them is a Weedle. They're probably all Weedles, aren't they? Okay, here comes the Scratch. Low Kick is not gonna do a lot to a Bug-type, unfortunately. String Shot. Ooh, Poison Sting. Please don't poison me. That is the... that's the thing about fighting Weedles. They can actually poison you, and that is... very, very annoying. I'm about to use Kakuna. Ooh, that is the evolved form of Weedle. The poison equivalent to Metapod. Critical hit! Used Harden. Yeah, you do that. Whereas Caterpie turns into a bug flying type, Weedle turns into a bug poison type who we probably won't see for a little while yet. I don't think any of the trainers on this route have a fully evolved bee drill. Yeah, get out of here. There's the level 12. Oh, and I skipped over it. Caterpie, huh? Well, I would like to see Pikachu reach level 12 as well. And really, I should be able to take out a level 9 Caterpie, right? Oh dear. That didn't even do half of its health, and that was a critical hit. Pikachu, you're not looking so great. Oh, well, you followed up with a critical hit of your own. Is this a Metapod? Oh, it sure is. Well, now I can kind of go on autopilot, hopefully. Just press A over and over and over again as you use Harden. See, the thing about Thundershock is it is actually a special attack, so Harden shouldn't have any effect on Thundershock. 
There we go. Pikachu grew to level 12. Excellent. My whole party is level 12. Uh, if I had new Pokémon, I would have won. I mean, I guess that's technically true. Uh, but I'm gonna head back to town. I'm gonna heal. My Pokémon aren't in great shape. And I'm also gonna end the episode there, because... Well, it seems like a pretty good place. There's a rather large dungeon ahead of us. So this is no time to start such an endeavor. Here's the Pokémon Center. Welcome to our Pokémon Center. Heal your Pokémon back to perfect health. Yeah, here you go. Okay. Anyway, as Nurse Joy does this, I think it's time for my end of episode spiel. If you enjoyed the episode, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I do hope that you'll join me again in the next thrilling episode of this. Ta-ta!